The top video is a New Zealand falcon, bottom left is a banded dotterel, bottom right is a black still. This is my wildlife watching vlog for my trip to Mount Cook in New Zealand. I was on a backpacking trip around New Zealand, stopped at Mount Cook, seemed like a great place to go, if only because when I looked into booking a hostel, it was almost impossible to get a room even months in advance, and I thought, well, it must be good. I found some fantastic day walks, and I saw a lot of wildlife, and I may have been a bit lucky, but hey, I'll take the luck. I took a lot of photos of the view. I promise I've edited most of them out. There's not too many in this vlog. But, wow, I thought it was beautiful. Look, can you see? There's a silhouette in the middle of that photo. It's a New Zealand falcon carrying a prey item. And now we've got a quick video of it flying past. So, dawn, I think this was my second day. Excuse to take another scenic view. I walked. I was walking up towards, up through the Hooker Valley. I saw a New Zealand falcon perch as I was headed up, headed up. I wasn't actually the first person on the trail. It seems like this is, I usually am, this seems like the kind of place that attracts very keen people that go up very early. This New Zealand Falcon seemed quite happy for me to stand there taking a video. Although later on it was quite disturbed by some of the tourists, which is a bit of a shame. This is the Mount Cook Lily. Popular local plant. But wait a sec, the leaves looked quite fleshy. And these flowers look a lot like buttercup flowers, which uh, buttercup is a very primitive, structurally, very distinctive look. In fact, it is a member of the buttercup family. It just happens to be called Mount Cook Lily. There's an avalanche. Can you see it slightly to the left of centre? We'll do a zoom in shot of it in a moment. I was hearing avalanches all day. Sort of every few minutes, just little bits. This is a yellow hammer, introduced species from Europe. In Europe, found in open terrain. I don't think it's surprising to see it here in a sort of mountainous area of New Zealand. This is the sort of view as you get higher up. We're about to see a mountain flax. Flax is one of the sort of native New Zealand plants. The mountain flax is a lot more compact, not surprising. Mountain plants often are more compact, partly so they can survive the weight of all the snow on them during the winter. This is a chaffinch, which is an introduced species of bird from Europe. It's another finch, which is closely related to yellowhammers. And that was perched on mataguri, which is a prickly plant native to New Zealand. Okay, I went on another walk towards the Tasman Glacier on another day, in fact there and back. Uh, the day started with the fly past of Canada geese, which I thought looked amazing against the kind of cliffs. Although Canada geese are introduced and not necessarily great for the ecosystem, but I thought they looked nice. And wow, I really enjoyed some of the views. I've had to hold back and not put too many in this video. Oh, and I also saw one of my favourite ever but, uh, butterflies. This is a Canterbury Alpine Boulder Copper. And on the river, on the way, and on the way back, and in fact around the village generally, during my stay at Mount Cook, I was seeing a lot of these, which are black-fronted terns. I also, on, a, on another day, I went to the Braided River, which is what I've called the site to the east, although Braided River is kind of the term for the whole area where the river is like this. I was looking particularly for rye bill and black still. I saw both, maybe I was lucky. This is a banded dotterel. In a moment we're going to see a rye bill, where you, which has a distinctive curved bill, which in this case seemed to help with it reaching for something under a rock, and then we'll see a black still. So I'll leave the end of the video to the birds. Remember, if you want to check the description, there'll be a link to my blog which where I've got lots more information. And photos and stuff. Oh wait, before I go, there's only a few thousand rye bill left and only a few hundred black stilt left at the time of making this video. And the braided rivers are one of the key places where they nest. So I think this is pretty exciting. <laughs>